What's up, everybody? Welcome back to JR Sneaker Show. I am JR, and today we got something that we have been waiting for for a very long time. Very, very long time. 14 years, matter of fact. 14 years, and I think it was back when... Uh, let's see. 1996, 97, right there. That's how long we've been waiting. Well, technically, no. These re-released back in 09. Um... I wasn't able to hit a pair, so technically, I've been waiting since 1997 for these joints. But I am so happy that Jordan Brand finally released them. They did a shock drop. Your boy hit on the shock drop again, again on the shock drop. I'm just like, man, just shocking. Just just dropping sneakers and hitting on them. That, that's crazy, right? And so anyway, because I was able to hit on the, I don't know, go back and watch a couple videos. But shock drop, I think on the UNC ones, I want to say the the Palomino ones, um, the eights. So yeah, just crazy, just crazy. But this is a pair that, like I said, I've been wanting to get my hands on this. It's an OG colorway, 96, 97 was the season. Um, and you can't say much more than that. Jordan had, you know, an, another great season in this. I know it's not the 11s. It wasn't the 72 and 10 season that they had before. But they still won 69 games that year. Um, and this is the same year that they beat Utah Jazz with the flu game, you know. And uh, yeah, flu game. So without further ado, let's get into the sneakers because I know that's what you came for. JR Sneaker Show. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Share with your friends. Help me grow my channel. Help me hit um, 1,000 plus subscribers. So we're very, very much appreciated. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, go ahead and hit the notification um but yeah just thank you very much for tuning in um but yeah without further ado we're not looking at these this is not what we're talking about today but something close these came in i took the address this came straight from nike these just came in today and uh let's get right into it because i haven't even seen these guys and i am very very happy to see these in hand with you at the same time so you're gonna get my reaction on what these look like so yeah very very cool so man 2009 1997 it's crazy oh look at that they came with the iconic box similar to like they've been doing so go back and watch my review on these right here i got so you talk about the the playoffs um these are still ds i need to wear these um jordan brand give us this one next <laughs> give us a proper taxi these guys already starting to come apart i had to re-glue them so i don't know how much life these got left in them but give us these again um, and i want to say these came out back in 2015 i want to say 2015 2016 so you know these are still holding on but these are definitely gonna be due again for a, for a proper proper retro. So, but anyway, we're not talking about those. We're talking about these. And look, they put the the Nike swoosh on the box. So they haven't been doing that. So let me show you. Like literally, this last box I got. These are from my playoff twelves, and they had the the Jumpman on the top right here. So they tried to get with the original box and all that. But even look at the box, man. This box is different. So right there, you see the wording on there is different. So this one says on the, let's see if I can do a comparison real quick. So this is the, the new one right here. The cherries, it says engineered and built to the exact specifications of championship athletes from around the world and this one just says quality inspired by the greatest player ever so a little different let me see what they gave us on my um my flu game 12 box so again that's the 12 box and then look at this box it's even a little bigger it seems like i would say this is the cherry 12 box here in the middle flu game 12 on the top playoff 12 on the bottom so very cool jordan brand giving us a little extra touch right there and then on the 
Right there, you got Nike. Right there on the side, instead of the Jumpman, like they've been doing. It says Nike. Same thing on this side right there. So let me flip it like this, that way you can get a better look. So you got Nike, this is the Cherry 12 box right here. And just right there on the top, that's the uh, Playoff 12 box. So you can see they gave us this Nike branding. Very cool. Very, very cool. It's just little touches that just takes me back. Well, I don't know, because I didn't even own this pair back in 96, 97. So I didn't get my hands on them. Uh, these sold out. Jordan always been selling out sneakers. So this is the Air Jordan 12 white, black, varsity red. Men's 10 and a half. Women's size 12. Oh, man. I haven't even opened the box yet. Right there it says, just do it too. Look at that. I keep getting into the box, but right there it says, just do it. On that one, it says, Jordan. Same thing on the other one. Wow. They really took it back. Whew. All right, so you open the box. Nothing, nothing too crazy there. You got your paper, your brown paper. Right there. Right there. Oh man. Oh, why they got double, they got double paper. It. Double paper, it's an all new. So it's got the brown paper and it's got the white paper. So we do this at the same time, same time. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow. Oh man. Oh man. That's a lot of paper. Wow. Oh crazy it was worth the wait it was worth the wait oh man this is amazing y'all ain't ready for this y'all ready for this wow first of all let me hit you with that shoe gun. right there first look jr sneaker show early look like I said, I hit these on the shock drop. Oh man, look, and it lines up. That's one of my pet peeves right there, is if the Jordan 12 lines up right there. Oh man. Look at that. So you got that reptile print right there on the side. Right here, reptile print. So when these came out, Jordan was big in the fashion. I mean, you remember Jordan, he wore the little the little sunglasses, the, the skinny ones, the big the big suits. Oh my gosh. The leather on these is better than anything I've seen in a while. Let's compare them to the most recent drop. So you got, let's see. Let me pull out the right sneaker. Nice. Almost lines up. Man. Almost lines up. I like it when this lines up right here when it's like like that. You see how that one's a good pair right there? Lines up. That one's a little off. Man, Jordan Brand. Um, but look at that. Very, very cool. Right sneaker. Right sneaker. So the leather, how does it compare to the Jordan 12? playoffs that just came out 20 well, when did these release 2020 2021 i'll say 2021 yeah 2021 how do they compare the leather oh man i mean i would say the the 2021 on the the playoffs is much much softer but these ain't bad these ain't bad at all. The leather on there is really firm, really tight. Sorry, I got some uh, food coloring on my finger from earlier. But look at that. Jumpman on the side right there. And then on the bottom, you got your white carbon fiber. You got your herringbone grip right there. Look at that. White 23. Black Jumpman right there. And what did they do on the inside? 
on the inside. Jumpman, right there, size 10 and a half. And no more shoe trees. They don't give us shoe trees no more. Paper. You like paper or plastic? And then right there it says, it's got the Jumpman. It's got the black sock liner. And then it says Jumpman right there. And then what was cool about this is they spelled it out two. And then they put the number three right there. Two, three, 23. So just little hits like that was so cool. And then you see the back right there, back tab. And it says, quality inspired by the greatest player ever. And then you can see it's got the white inner lining right there of the pool tab, which is really nice. Really, really nice. Like the details on that is crazy. And the inner lining of that, this inner lining is, is thick, thick. Look right there. Much thicker on that pool tab than they did on the playoffs, so. Let's see, what about, yeah, same as the taxis. So here's the taxis. Look at that pool tab, higher, thicker. Just, man, just everything. I'm trying to see as far as the height. Yeah, so one thing too to, to note about these, um, when Jordan, you know, like I say, he was big in the fashion and uh, Tinker Hatfield actually made these based off the Japan flag with the rising sun and uh, the lines right there. And so he really wanted to, you know, Jordan was touring the world. He was, you know, seeing the world and this was something that they did for him. Uh, Tinker Hatfield designed this around the Japan, J Japanese flag. And so I always thought that's a cool little story right there. Uh, you got your silver uh, aglets or whatever you call those right there. Lace loops with the jump man on it. Uh, those seem like they're plastic. They seem like plastic. And then that's your, what you got right there on the tag. And then let's see what we got for the insole. Okay, so the insole they gave us this... Uh, Right here. It's always funny. These insoles always say AJ11. If you look at them. And it says 10 and a half. I don't know if you can see that. If it's picking it up. But it says AJ11 on here. And then it says QF, AH, MS, 10 and a half men's or something like that. Um, just your standard insole. Nothing crazy. Pretty thin. Um, feels good though. It's like rubber. So. And then on your inside right there you got that hole i always look for that hole whenever i'm buying see oh right there look it says 10.5 on the inside so you see that very cool so yeah they did a an amazing amazing job on these i feel like and i'm so grateful to finally have a pair um like i said i didn't own these when i was a kid matter of fact i got so impatient <laughs> go back and watch my old video i got so impatient waiting for these i actually painted my double up flu games to look like cherries and so that was i don't know what i was thinking but i these actually used to be food games you can tell <laughs> and i actually painted them to look like cherries so and i've been rocking these for a, for a minute now you can see the, the different backs like i said this this is a pair of uh right there this is a pair of flu games that I painted to look like these because I was so impatient and couldn't wait. But now I gotta figure out what to do with these. Paint them black, black again, put them back to blue games or what? Anyway, so. <laughs> well, anyway, this is this is exciting. I can't wait to to put these on. One thing too I wanna note, look right there. They 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 brought the widow's points back. Widow's Peaks right there. So right here, they got the Widow's Peak on that. Um, you can see it right there. Right in the middle, right there where my finger's pointing. Something they also did with the, the Jordan 12 playoffs right there. Um, they didn't do it with the flu games. That's not on there, right there. So that's not something they did, but 
I mean, let's let's compare these two. So it's pretty much like, you know, you got your white version, you got your black version. They did put on the food games, which is really cool. Instead of them doing black and white on the two three, they did black and red, and then on the um, cherries, they did black and white. So I don't know. I wonder what, if they would have done black and red or red on there, how that would have looked. But this is a classic, so. Um, yeah, I want to say two of the most iconic sneakers ever in Jordan history, the Jordan 12 flu game and the cherries. This was actually one of uh, Jordan's favorite pairs uh, to wear. Uh, he wore these a lot and, um, you know, so this was actually one of Jordan's favorites right here. So very, very cool. They got it. I feel like they got it right. I mean, like I said, I didn't own this pair, but I'm, I'm just glad to finally own a pair and to get them from the Nike shock drop straight from Nike straight from the source um even better so these guys I think 2015 right here 2015 2016 um one of the two and so we're definitely definitely do um for a new one because look how they've been doing that that lizard print right there they've been doing it much better since they did i mean i don't know this is back in 2015 2016 and it just seems like they've been doing this is a size 10 by the way this is a 10 and a half but it looks like they've been they've been doing a better job at that since they did it um but these are 2013 so you like i said i've had to read movies and stuff but like they weren't doing like a really good job on the on the sides there but i actually had a double up on these and i kept this one i got rid of the other one but i kept this one just because of the fact that the lizard print right here on the on the side on this one was better my 2021 pair the other pair i had you couldn't even tell it was like flat i mean it was literally like flat so these are the the main colorways they also had one more colorway um that they haven't released in a while too i think since 2012 it's the obsidian blues um jordan never wore those anyway it was like a blue and white colorway um they did recently drop a uh jordan 12 a couple years ago um it was a blue and white one it was very similar um but you know it was different materials and it actually changed colors i did a review on that i have that sneaker i just didn't bust it out just because i feel like it didn't you know it didn't deserve to be in the greatness of these sneakers right here but um uh, it is definitely a good runner up uh i was called like the indigos or something like that um changes color different material and stuff like that but uh it was kind of a knockoff on the og colorway um jordan brand knocking themselves off so but i hopefully they release that if they do i'll go after that it's just standard blue and white it's got blue here um and i want to say it's it's a blue white bottom and then blue on the upper white on the side white bottom so but yeah very 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 grateful to have this in the collection not sure when i'm gonna wear these but they will get somewhere i love the red bottoms um i know people back in 28 16 was it 2016 hard to believe this pair is seven years old but back in 2016, you know, people were calling these the cherries. And I don't ever remember people calling these the cherries when I grew up. When I grew up, they were always the the white and red joints, the the new white and red Jordans that just came out, you know, the 97s, the 98s, whatever you want to call them. I don't even remember these being called the cherries until later, later. Um, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't remember people saying, oh, Jordan's wearing the cherries. Or, and they were just like, oh, the white and reds, the white and reds man gotta have those those are clean so super clean pair love the red bottoms i think that's that is very cool i mean the only other pair that had the red bottoms that i are the or the ogs are the the flu games and so they got the white shank plate this is actually carbon fiber right here and it was made to to give a, a good spring in the step so jordan was just always next level with his stuff right here 
And like I said, red bottoms right there, red bottoms right there. Um, and then playoffs have the white bottoms. Never been a fan of white bottoms, but, and then the black bottoms right there on the taxis, so. And the reason they call it the taxis is because they, this yellow right here, uh, is how they got nicknamed the dub, dub the taxis, so anyway. Um, very cool, very cool. Like I said, grateful to have these in the collection. I can't believe it's been so long, 09, since they released these. 14 years later, and you know, since then, before then, 96, 97. 97, I think, is when they dropped, but um, yeah, it's been a long time coming, Jordan Brand, so great, great, great job. Um, I know these have been rumored to drop in 2017, and they finally dropped, so right before the holiday season, right before my birthday, so, you know, I got these, I got the, the satins, so those were my pickups for the year. Uh, so I'm just grateful to have those. Uh, I might go after the fears and I definitely want to go after the Royals and then that'll be it. That'll be a wrap for, for me for 2023 for sneaker pickups, but yeah, I'm glad. So anyway, everybody, um, just want to pray for all the people around the world. Um, you know, and just, just, you know, you know, what's going on in the news. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff uneasy. So just pray for for all the families um, and um, just lift them up. And, you know, I know we talk about sneakers on here and that's that's something that I do to, you know, take my mind off of stuff. And, you know, that's just a hobby. We all gotta have hobbies and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, there's, there's great, greater world problems and stuff like that. So definitely pray for everybody out there. Um, send all the prayers to all the families and everybody. If you're going through something, you know, God bless you, Jesus loves you. Um, God bless you, and I'm out.